You might have. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Morning Coffee Show for Monday, July 26th. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Ah, yes, it's one of those days. Uh, a little bit of Olympic news update. I said I wasn't going to do it, but uh, kind of proud of what I was watching uh, last night. Um, yeah. There's a lot of controversy going on behind the scenes. I don't know if you've been reading the news or not, but uh, there's a lot of people uh, really still dead set against the Olympics. Uh, Governor Koike, Prime Minister uh, Suga said that, you know, despite the pandemic, um, they feel that the Olympics are going smoothly. I'm not going to be talking too much about, uh, you know, coronavirus and all that, but uh, hey, let's face it, um, there is... Uh, Probably on average about 1,100, 1,200 cases per day. They're probably testing more. Who knows? I'm not going to get into it. But uh, good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining. Uh, Fang, good morning. Carlitos, Lynn, uh, Leone, good morning. Uh, Nilsa, good morning. John McKee's World, good morning. Uh, who else is here? Uh, Night Riders, gal, good morning, dear. How are you? I hope you're doing well, dear. Uh, Nancy on here again. Damn. Oh, yeah, it's the weekend for you. Hi, Nancy. Um, who else is here? Sandra C., good morning. Uh, Irvin, good morning. Ison, good morning. Hey, Ison, long time. How are you, brother? Uh, dun, 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 dun. I'm singing Ramsey Silent in the house. How are you, brother? Good morning. And uh, I see Cobrat. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Um, so, yeah, real quickly, uh, had a bit of a day off yesterday. Hey, Jen Sutherland, Jason M., good morning. A uh, bit of a day off yesterday. I actually slept in, which was uh, a little crazy. But uh, this message uh, next up is for the Patreon members, of course. Uh, we got a little bit of a silent auction going on. Thank you for all your bids that are going on. Um, there's only two or three things that haven't been bid on yet. But um, it's a silent auction, so I can't tell you who's winning or not. But, um, yeah, thank you for the support. I really appreciate that. That's pretty cool. Um, if you really want to know if you're winning, just message me. <laughs> but no, thank you guys for that. Hey, Tokyo Paul, good morning. Um, I will watch the silent auction. Uh, you can't watch a silent auction thing. <laughs> Desert Fox. Uh, we're, uh, on the Patreon page, Desert Fox. On the Patreon page. Uh, there's a post there uh, with pictures and stuff like that. So. Hey, Jackie Hero, good morning. All right, let's get into uh, the morning coffee news uh, right away for uh, July 26th, of course. Uh, first off, I'd like to let you guys know that we do have uh, a merch sale going on right now. If you use the Olympic 20 code, you get 20% off uh, merch over at my store. It's only on during the Olympics. Um, so, yeah, if you see anything you like, uh, I appreciate each and every uh, purchase. Thank you very much. All right, let's get into the morning coffee. I mean, you can see the link right down there somewhere, or the code, or whatever. All right, let's get into it. Uh, so, yeah, um, <clears throat> you can see a barricade here. And uh, hey, DeConnor, good morning. Um, so, I mentioned earlier about, um, you know, how the Olympics are going and stuff. And uh, right now... Uh, they are basic Tokyoites, I guess. Uh, they've been doing interviews and going around and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, Tokyo is sick of the Olympics. Uh, in the general public, I guess you could say. Um, now, we do understand, you know, they have to barricade certain parts, I guess, uh, for the safety of the athletes, the safety of the Olympics. But I think um, in things that I've researched, uh, Tokyo has gone a little bit too far in barricading um, certain things, uh, Black Tengu, good morning, um, around the stadium I can see, but to actually block local traffic and, 
Hold on one second. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, I think I got a delivery. I don't know if it's for me or not. It better not be one of those surprise deliveries. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, um, I'll let uh, Hiromi take care of it. Um, so anyways, yeah. Um, right now, a lot of people, uh, we are in a state of emergency, of course. But um, hey, Al, good morning. Hey, welcome back, Al. How are you? Um, they freak They freak out over deliveries. I don't know why. Hey, Mariah, good morning. <coughs> um, so, and actually, Mariah, that's what I was going to get into. So they have blocked off a lot of areas that, you know, might not necessarily mean to be blocked off. But that's neither here nor there. That kind of makes everybody grumpy anyways, right? Um, there is a huge police presence at almost all uh, stations. And um, that is a little unnervy. Um, I had passed through Shinjuku Station. I was doing a little bit of filming. Hey, Mindy's mom. Good morning. Um, and I was, well, Patreon members, you'll see the video that I, that I was filming. Um, I'm, I'm making up a Patreon only video and, uh, yeah, it was just, it was nuts. It was insane. Shinjuku was so busy. I stopped filming and left. Like it was just crazy. I walked through the station and there was police everywhere and it may, it makes sense. Right. Um, but in the, for the general public, it seems, it seems anyways, that um, they just don't get it, I guess, you know. Um, they're in a state, of, we're in a state of emergency, so try to stay home. I only travel because I'm coming home, going to, from, going to work and coming home from work. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's just weird. Um, people are, it was just packed. It was just packed. Now, a lot of people are also saying that um, you know, I have to go out in the daytime to drink. <laughs> I can't enjoy my drinks at night. Whipty frickin' do, man. Like, people, get get together with it that, uh, you know, we are in a state of emergency. We have 15,000 international people here. And uh, by all means, we've got to protect the Japanese community, uh, but also protect the athletes. So it's kind of a hum and haw style thing and just to bring up the article here um where'd it go it says um not everyone agrees about these tokyo olympics they're still saying cancel the olympics well the olympics are not going to be canceled um no country and this is the quote of the day no country should hold an olympics during a pandemic to start with and if you absolutely must and this is the kicker here. Then a more author blah, 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 blah. a more high tech city like China or country or Singapore would probably be able to control COVID better. And this came from uh, a professor called Koichi Nakano, a politics professor at Sof Sofia University in Tokyo. China or Singapore? Sorry, Ison, I know you're from Singapore, but yeah. That's kind of uh, what, what's going on there. So, um, all right, let's move on. And that is, uh, here's something a little heartbreaking, a little heart touching before we get into the Olympics. So there's a Frenchman. Uh, his name is Vincent Fichot. Um, he's on a hunger strike in Tokyo. Uh, he's seeking access to his children. Um, his children were abduct abducted by their Japanese mother, and he's been on a hunger strike since July 10th in a bid to be reunited with his family. Uh, for two weeks, the former finance worker, who has lived in Japan for 15 years, has sat night and day outside a train station near Olympic Stadium, where the opening ceremony for the virus proponed Tokyo Games was held on Friday. Uh, Macron, who attended the ceremony with Paris, set to host the next Olympics in 2024, actually held talks Saturday with Japanese Prime Minister uh, Suga. So, uh, you know, obviously the, the head of France, the head of Japan are talking about this guy. Um, I'm not going to get too much into it, but, um, <clears throat> you know, during their meeting, they said it is an extremely tragic situation. 
Um, joint custody of children in cases of divorce uh, or separation does not exist legally in Japan. Where, where parental abductions are common and often tolerated by local authorities. So, um, it's, it's, a, it's a sad case. You can, uh, I'll, I'll be leaving all the links to everything I'm talking about today in the description later on. Um, and maybe go check it out because uh, it's, just, it's just a sad thing. You know, uh, people missing uh, payments or just running away with their children. Um, it, just, it just really, the pride of Japanese law, right, Irvin? Yeah, I know. It, it's, it's sad. It really is. So uh, next up here, a bit, uh, let's, let's turn the corner into something a little bit better, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, a craft beer born from Tokyo's center of subculture, Shimo Kitazawa. So uh, the summer is, of course, upon us. Scorching heat. It's driving me nuts because I'm always in a fight of aircon. You know who. Um, but craft uh, Rock Pub Brew and Live is born. Uh, they've opened up a store in Nihonbashi. Um, what's really interesting... Uh, the beer in question is made by, uh, of course, Craft Rock Brewing. Uh, it's in Nihonbashi District, which is just south of me. Um, they do have a live venue and stuff like that. But this is what's pretty cool about it. It's called a, I, I, I might botch the name, Mabo Neng IPA. IPA, ladies and gentlemen. But here is what's so cool about it. Um... The store name is a South African word meaning uh, place of light, and it's, it's basically influenced the beer itself. The beer is made from two, two types of South African hops, African Queen and Southern Passion. How could you not want to drink a beer like that, ladies and gentlemen? So I will definitely be going to try this out. The hops have aromas of kumquat. Yes, I just said kumquat. Lychee and jackfruit. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, the flavor of this IPA, meanwhile, ex exudes sweet summer oranges, and the malty aftertaste is of grapefruit. Mm, okay, maybe I'm not going to go try that. It's like a freaking fruit beer, man. It says the beer is a gorgeous balance of uh, umami and bitterness. Now that makes me want to go back and try it again. So just thought I would uh, throw that in there. Uh, just for the fact that uh, beer, I do drink beer in the summertime, not whiskey, which is, yeah. Mm. Get it? Next up, Otani hits his 35th home run. Anytime he hits a home run, I'm adding in the morning coffee news because Otani is the bomb, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm just going to reiterate this. I can't get a freaking Otani jersey for the life of me. It is just not happening. Um, you all know I ordered uh, a replica about a month ago. It's not here yet. And I really think I got ripped off. But they are on some website that uh, one of my members gave to me. Um, but, yeah, maybe it's taking a long time. I don't know. I really hope I do get it, but I still feel like I got ripped off. But, hey, Otani hit his 35th home run. Just into the chat here, ladies and gentlemen, and going back in. Uh, hey, me devil, good morning. Um, do you think Otani will hit 70-plus home runs this, this season? Hey, Stephen, good morning. That is a question. If you follow baseball, can he hit the single-season record, whatever that may be, 75 home runs or something like that? I forget who it is. Connor says 55. Okay. Auntie Leanna, good morning. And, uh, oh, hey, hey, Merry Christmas. Good morning. Yeah, Otani is definitely a timestamp, eh, ladies? <laughs> <coughs> I think he's going to do 70 plus or at least 60 plus. Hey, Elizabeth, good morning. So I hope he does. Awesome. Just looking at the comments here. How some people enjoy them. I just think IPA beers taste of soap. I prefer stouts. Okay. I still got nothing in my P.O. box, so I feel your pain. From Ramsey Silent. Yeah, Ram, I don't know. 
everybody's gotten their box but you. So I have no idea. I really have no idea. And, uh, hmm. No, no, no. Tawny can't be a timestamp. He's mine. <laughs> okay, that's creepy. Merry Christmas. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get more into Olympic news here just to uh, share with you. So uh, they do say, uh, they have confirmed now, Olympic medalists get the okay to pose maskless for photos. Um, athletes who won medals on the opening weekend of the Tokyo Olympics also helped earn a photogenic victory for others to share in the next two weeks. Of course, some medalists on Sunday ignored the orders from organizers to wear masks for the entire podium ceremony. Seeking the pushback, the International the, or the IOC later agreed to ease its, rest, its strict pre-game rule designed to help protect against the coronavirus. Uh, victory ceremony protocol has been adapted to allow athletes to have an image for the media that captures their faces and their emotions during a unique moment in their sporting career. I'm not going to get more into this into this one because I have a question. Well, not a question, but a statement. And that is, if you are competing without masks, because I watched a judo yesterday, and, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're not wearing a mask during baseball when you're at bat or, you know, so on and so forth. What is wrong then with going up onto the podium and being maskless for two and a half minutes? Maybe it doesn't make sense to me. Maybe it doesn't make sense to you or it does make sense. I'm just wondering what, you, uh, what your ideas are. As long as they hold their breath, their masks are off. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I have no idea, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, I don't see anything wrong with it. If you're competing without masks, what's the difference between competing without masks and going up on the podium maskless? Anybody have a rebuttal? I saw a really cool baseball game in Fukuoka Dome. Thankfully, no earthquake. Okay, I have no idea what that means. Yeah, probably. Hey, Miguel, how are you? Delta variant can be transmitted in seconds. Uh, how about milliseconds? They played an entire NFL season with minimal outbreaks. The Seahawks had zero cases. How did I know Elizabeth was going to get the damn Seahawks in there? Into a comment. I bet you you're wearing at least a Seahawks t-shirt, hat, or a jacket right now, or something. Hey, Moto Gnome, how are you? Uh, Mindy's mom, when I went walk in the morning, I'm not wearing a mask because there aren't many uh, around at the time. With that being said, when I walk past someone, I hold my breath. Okay. Nothing wrong with masks. It encourages others. No difference to my thought process. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I still have to wear a mask daily at the hospital. Of course, Rachel, you do. Uh, just green and gray. <laughs> All right, uh, let's move on here. Uh, next up, of course, a uh, very, very proud uh, moment uh, yesterday. Um, Abe siblings, so Uta and he, Hifumi, um, are judo uh, amazing uh, athletes. Um, Uta, the sister, uh, she was in the 52-kilogram division, and um, she won gold. Her brother, uh, who was in the 66 kilogram, uh, Hifumi, uh, he also won gold. Can you imagine? A sister and a brother, both at the Olympics for the first time. She's 21, he's 23, and they both win gold. But when I was researching, uh, while I was watching the judo competition last night, it's amazing to see, like, uh, the International Judo Federation, the World Championships. Uh, Hifumi had go, 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 go for the last few years. 2019, I think he had, like, a bronze or a silver or something. And she was pretty much the same way, almost. But it, it, it's very, very, um, it was very amazing last night. Um, you know, he bought, he, uh, she uh, beat uh, Francis Amon, Amandine Bouchard. Um, and they had fought a few times already, and then he uh, actually beat a, a guy from Georgia. Um, it was played at Tokyo's Budokan, which is pretty freaking cool, man. I would just love to have been inside there watching the judo match. And if you did watch the judo at all, 
Uh, I probably counted, well, I didn't really count, but probably at least 100 to 150 people, all media, coaches, team members probably uh, watching. So there was a little bit of spectatorship, I guess you could say. But uh, congratulations, Japan, for uh, winning their weight class, I guess, of uh, their la, 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 52 and 66 kilogram in the women's and the men's. That's pretty cool, I think, right? Um, did you say Jay Luther, USA swimming team competitor? He took silver. He's a Hapa Japanese. No, I didn't have that in my news. Um, I saw judo. It was interesting. Yeah, judo is really, really interesting. Um, I think the men's was a four-minute uh, match. And then, um, what is it? You go into golden time or golden something. Um, and I, I just learned judo rules last night. But uh, I thought it was pretty cool. And uh, women, I think, start off at three minutes. And then they go into that golden whatever. Um, so, yeah, it was interesting anyways, to say the least. So, uh, next up here skateboarding ladies and gentlemen i think it's no it's soccer soccer sorry guys but uh japan actually beat mexico 2-1 congratulations uh sticking with uh, soccer germany beat uh, saudi arabia 3-2 south korea beat romania 4-0 argentina beat egypt 1-0 france 4 south africa 3 Brazil and the Ivory Coast uh, came to a draw at 0-0. Zero, zero. I'm really cheering for Japan um, this year just because I am. Um, Canada, yeah, they lost to Japan yesterday in softball 1-0. Heartbreaking. I would like to have seen a USA and Japan final, but oh well, I guess. Uh, here's the skateboarding. Um, so Japan's... Hirogome wins the first ever Olympic skateboarding gold. The first ever skateboarding Olympic gold was won by a J Japanese athlete. How freaking awesome is that? <coughs> um, he won it in the men's street, doing all these different tricks and stuff. Um, the silver went to Brazilian's Kevin Hoffler. Um, and it doesn't say here who, oh, looks like USA skater Jagger Eaton took the bronze. Uh, there are still three comp skateboarding competitions to go. It's the women's street um, to go. And then there's the men's and the women's something or other uh, to go on. Have you guys been watching the skateboarding? Um, I watched a little bit of it and I kind of fell out of it. I didn't really enjoy it as much as I thought it would be pretty cool. Um, mind you, I am not a, uh, sorry, I'm not looking at the, at the comments, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm not really a skateboarding type, type of guy and, um, I'm having a hard enough time with skateboarding and surfing being in the Olympics, but that's just me. That's just me. Um, Irvin, good question. Is skateboarding really a sport? And that is a good question. And that's why I have a problem with skateboarding being the Olympics. They put, hey, Kathy three, they put skateboarding in, but they obviously taken something out that's really probably more important. Uh, I know some of you, uh, not, to, not to be disrespectful or to piss you off, but I just feel skateboarding doesn't belong in the Olympics. That's just my opinion. I'm entitled to it. Um, but, uh, yeah. Skateboarding, really? Can't you think of some other track and field where pure athletes will shine? But you know what? I got to say, I am happy that a Japanese uh, skateboarder won gold anyways. Uh, it's a sport. No, Rachel, it's not a sport. I'm going to argue with you. It was super hot. All the skateboarding was kind of sedate. Are you watching? They're, char they're charging here in the U.S. I have no idea what Carlitos is saying. Karate out. Right, Maurice? You could say the same to judo. It's a real sport. It took out Olympic hide to go and seek in 1998. <laughs> hide and seek is a sport, ladies and gentlemen. And I would not win gold in that. 
Skateboarders are good for movie, moving fridges and other heavy furniture. <laughs> Skateboarding is hard to do at higher levels and very physical. Oh, I just love how you get... I'm not into arguing, but hey, if you really want to. Hey, I don't have a crazy cat. No, either way, I bet you we could sit here and argue for a long time. Is skateboarding a sport? Is it not a sport? Um, you know, should karate be there or should uh, skateboarding be there or this sport or that sport? Yeah, we're all going to have opinions. So uh, let's just move on, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, this is kind of funny. Australia dominates India 7-1 to stay unbeaten and men's hockey. It's not freaking hockey. It's not. It's a ball and a stick. It's not hockey. I, I just, I, I've never been able to accept this as a Canadian field hockey. Really? Why don't you just call it something else, please? But, <laughs> and I know you guys are going to argue with me now. Um, <coughs> but supposedly Australia, yes, Leone's country of choice, is the number one uh, team in the world for field hockey. Um, India is number four. Um, but hey, you know what? It's a sport. Um, I don't see anything else I really want to talk about this. I just want to say that it's not a, it's not hockey. It's not hockey. It's not hockey. Hockey is a fight. It's summer hockey. Don't be saying summer hockey. No. Is there fighting in field hockey? Probably not. That's why it's not hockey, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, th somebody just said three-on-three -three basketball. Holy Christ. That was really interesting. I watched a bit of that last night, too. Damn. Exciting. Fast. Oz, home of ACDC. Thank you for that. I'm pretty sure that anybody that doesn't live under a rock knows that ACDC is from Australia. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little sussy today. Uh, USA beats Australia in softball, setting up title rematch with Japan because Japan beat Canada. Who will you cheer for? Do you want to place any bets? I am open to this because Japan is going to crush America in softball. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it here first. Japan is going to repeat as Olympic gold medal champions. They're going to do it, and they're going to do it right. That could start a fight. Yeah, Elizabeth, come on. Bring it on. Bring it on. So I'm not going to jump on the fan train now. Well, Japan is defending uh, Olympic Gold champion, USA, USA. Really, Nilsa? You don't want to... Yeah, never mind. Mm. Drew, bet, bet Al? Nah, I'm not going to bother. All right, next up here is... I cannot believe this, guys. Like, I don't know, maybe... I don't watch enough basketball, but when I woke up this morning and I heard that France beat the USA men's basketball team ending their 25-game Olympic winning streak, I was in shock. I literally sat on my couch last night uh, talking with Hiromi about it and went, oh, yeah, USA is going to win gold so fast it isn't funny. And their first game, they got beat by France. I thought USA was a city in Japan. Hey, Neil, how are you? Um... Yeah, I'm surprised. Uh, are you surprised? For anybody that follows basketball, maybe somebody like Irvin or uh, maybe Ram or Jason or you know any of the guys out there or or ladies, were you surprised that France uh, that USA lost? Just wondering. Amy, that you hit, kick or any anything? Ah, chase after a ball is not a sport. It's how to train your pet. Oh Jesus. The Olympics, man, upsets are exciting. Meh, basketball, schmaskball. 
don't care about basketball. Obviously, just by your comments there. Hello. <laughs> Not at all this year. It's full of NBA players and France plays more like a team. Yeah, I was surprised when you just mentioned it, Drew. <coughs> yeah, right. So the comment I saw, and uh, maybe I'll try to read it, but um, it said here, a 25-game Olympic winning streak for the U.S. is over, ending Sunday when France closed the game on a 16-2 run to beat the Americans 83-76. to um, Evan Fournier's three-pointer off a broken play with just under a minute left, put France ahead for good, um, as the Americans simply fell apart in the final minutes. Quote, the Americans are better individually, but they can be beaten as a team. And I think that's uh, pretty alarming, but pretty true. Maybe the Americans didn't have enough time. Maybe they're, you know, they're, they're holding their heads up high. They just finished um their, you know their playoffs just a little while ago right um but i think you know very true is you know as individuals they are amazing but they probably didn't have enough time to play as a team where you know france and all these other countries probably had a lot of time to uh sync up and uh play together right so um three-legged long jump that's hilarious so yeah um I was just shocked, and because I really thought that uh, the you know the NBA players on the Olympic team would just be the next be a dream team and just keep going, get that gold, but it didn't happen, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, and that there uh, is the morning coffee show news Olympic updates. Of course, I can't do all the scores and stuff like that, but uh, I did want to show you uh, right now. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but. Uh, Right now, these are the standings, of course, China with 11. I didn't add in the Chinese uh, weightlifting. There's, I think there's like 14 weightlifting categories or something. Uh, China could only send eight, and they've already won like three or four medals. Uh, they are a powerhouse in weightlifting. Um, this little guy, I think he was what, like, what, 66 kilograms or something like that, lifting 150 kilograms. Like, Jesus Christ almighty, man. Uh, looks like, uh, ch you know, and this list is actually not by total medals. It's actually going by, uh, wait, this way? Yeah, right here. Um, of course, you can see that China has uh, 11 total, but six gold. Japan with five gold, USA with four, uh, so on and so forth. I don't see Canada on that list. <laughs> mm, oh, well. But uh, that was as of uh, this morning before the event started today. Uh, you need to start the NATO Olympics. Well, you know what to do. And I'll start. <laughs> Six packs of NATO. There we go. While I'm, while I'm jogging. Oh, my God, no. Um, ladies and gentlemen, if you never saw that NATO ice cream, bring, brings me up to the past video we did a couple of days ago. Um, NATO ice cream, man. I don't know, somebody said that, uh, you know, thank you for giving your honest opinion that you didn't like it, but I don't remember saying that. I said it wasn't that bad, so I was a little surprised. Uh, but um, let me get rid of this here. There we go. Um, oh, we're back. Okay, cool. I love to watch the table tennis. You know, I was watching, uh, just talk, talk a little bit, uh, basketball was invented by a Canadian, absolutely Jackie Hero. Um, I love to watch table tennis. So badminton last night, I was watching the mixed doubles or something like that. What a crazy ass uh, sport that is. Table tennis, ping pong, whatever you want to call it. Um, I, I don't know how honestly these athletes, um, can play, um, these sports that are so damn fast, man. Um, the, the hand eye coordination I could just imagine ping pong serve and I just watch it go by. See ya. Badminton. Uh, tennis, I could probably almost kind of do, maybe. But badminton, my God. That little birdie thing that weighs nothing and they just smack the damn thing. Just crazy. Is that is that face you made whenever someone says natto? Pretty much, yeah. Um, I've never been into badminton. I've never been into table tennis. Uh, 
But you know what? Oh, it is interesting. Oh, yeah. And um, Kazmumu just became a uh, something. I remember. Thank you uh, for, I think, signing, becoming a subscriber, maybe. Maybe. Let's, let's check. Uh, maybe they just, uh, yeah, I think they just became a subscriber. Thank you, if you're watching. Um, you know, it's kind of it's kind of cool, you know. Um, you know, as somebody that lives here in Japan, um, you know, there are all kinds of different things that you can say. Like they should have canceled the Olympics, and I was honestly, I was right up until the opening ceremonies. I was still in my head thinking, why are we having these freaking Olympics? Cancel them, cancel them, cancel them. But you know what? Watching on TV last night. Hey, Polka. Good morning. I'm glad the Olympics are going on. For the athletes, I'm glad. Um, for the world, I am glad. As long as everybody can stay safe, as long as uh, Japan can stay as safe as possible. Yeah, we're going to have... Um... Okay, what did Feng say? Well, a 12-year-old at Olympic? Oh, huh? no idea. Um, what, how about putting pool in the Olympics? Not sure what you're talking about there, John. Um I just hope everybody stays safe. I really, really do. And, it, you know, it would be good to uh, encourage, I guess, younger athletes here in Japan and around the world uh, to give themselves something to look for, forward to. You know, we do have the Winter Olympics coming up in, like, what, seven months? Um, so that's kind of uh, a bit scary because that'll probably be also during the pandemic um, over in China. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's kind of a weird time, you know, but I think if we all stick together, uh, billiards, ah, now there's a sport. <laughs> billiards and beer. How many beers can you chug while playing pool? Nine ball or billiards? Now that would be, Maria DK, how are you, dear? Thank you for being here. I'm so happy you're here. At what point will this no longer be a pandemic? I wonder. Yeah, I wonder the same thing. Billiards, darts, these, those are sports. Bar sports. Foosball, billiards, and darts. Does it get any better, ladies and gentlemen, while drinking beer? Just saying. Ah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I think that's going to wrap it up for today. Uh, while you're here, if you don't mind, uh, I challenge you to food. Mindy's mom. Okay, sorry, guys, I'm not leaving yet. Mindy's mom, you do not want to challenge me to foosball. I'll tell you that right now. And the next time I meet you, you pick any partner you want or, by, or singles. It's the one thing I'm actually good at besides bowling. I am pretty damn good. Challenge accepted, Mindy's mom. Next time I see you. Hey, Silver Street, good morning. Um, I'm fine. It's my birthday. Oh, Maria's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Maria DK over in Denmark. Happy birthday. To you. Mwah! Happy birthday, Maria. I hope you're having a good one. 29 again? <laughs> Everybody, uh, wish Mary, uh, Maria a happy birthday. Uh, Ramsey Sound, I agree you hit a ball, but you don't have to chase it. So it's a sport now, not how to train your track. <laughs> God, Ram. Are you drinking too much coffee, Ramsey Silent? What about limp? Limp, Olympic Super Mario Brothers. I have no idea what uh, For a Better Future is saying. Um, my birthday is in two days. We're almost birthday buddies. Well, if you're here, Marie, and I remember and I am live, I'll sing happy birthday to you too. Uh, anyhow, sweet of you. Yes, 29 again, but who counts? Yeah, after you're 29, we stop counting. We just say, oh, how old are you? 29 again. Uh, please smash that like button on your way out, ladies and gentlemen. I would appreciate it. Coffee Olympics. Yeah, that's the 100 shots of coffee that I did last year and will never do again. 
Ooh. Seriously, seriously, seriously. It was uh, horrible, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely horrible. Is Wanamaker here? Maybe he's not tied. I didn't see him, but he just sent me a private message. He said, uh, Angus and Malcolm Young were actually born in Scotland. Yeah, I, I think I remember hearing something like that, but then they lived in Australia or something. Um, something along those lines. So, Anyways, um, I used to have a football table in my foosball table in my bedroom. I'm not kidding. Do a challenge where you take a shot of wine every five minutes. No, I'll throw up. Come on, people, hit the like button. 62 are watching. I used to do uh, a shot of whiskey for all for super, super chats. I used to do that. Sometimes I still do, but uh, whiskey I can drink a lot. But then the problem is, is after the live stream, I freaking passed out because I couldn't walk. Sitting down drinking whiskey is fine until you stand up. And you know what? Mindy's mom, I'm, I'm going to kick your ass playing foosball. The next time we meet, whether it's here in Japan or in LA or in Vegas, wherever, I'm going to kick your ass, man. I'm going to kick your ass. Do a natto shot instead. Hey, there's William Maker. I guess you just didn't want to type today, eh? <laughs> you are on. It's on like Donkey Kong. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I got to get going. I start work at 12 o'clock today. Uh, my money is on Mindy's mom. Really? Why are you always against me, Moto Gnome? Why? I was foosball champion in... in uh, Oh, thank you, Night Riders, gal. Drew, I'm spamming the chat. You can spam the chat all you want with Super Chats. I love it. <laughs> thank you for the support. <clears throat> but I need to know if you think bowling is a sport or a game. I want to know for personal reasons. Um, ah, you got me there. I don't think it's a sport. I think it's a competition game. I guess that's the best way to put it. Um, there is a bit of endurance, of course. Um, but to me, it's more of a competition game or a, a league or something. I don't think it's a sport. Does that help answer your question? Uh, that's just my opinion, of course. I do a lot of bowling. Uh, some of you already know that. Um, and I've never viewed it as a sport, but it is a competition. It can be a personal competition or, you know, you join bowling leagues. Um, so it is a league competition style, uh, but I would never say it's a sport. No. Both a sport and a game. Bowling is a game. Bowling is fun. Right, Lynn? What really is the de definition of a sport? That's a good question too, right? Dean Alexander, sport, an activity involving physical exertion and skill in which an individual or team competes against another or others for entertainment. Good Wikipedia there. Um, <coughs> what about mini golf? Yeah, well, you know. You, mechanical bull riding. There's a sport. Uh, we, could, we could sit here and uh, hum and haw. What's a sport? What's a game? Uh, what's a competition? What's a league? Um, it all depends on, you know, obviously your personal thoughts and stuff like that. Um, I used to argue with my ex about this. He was a very good bowler, but I never thought of it as a sport, more like a game, just my opinion. Yeah, and exactly. We're all going to have just our opinions. Troy Latimer, good morning. Debbie McKee, good morning. Um, yeah, you know, I don't know. It is what it is. And um, there's certain things that I don't call sports. Break dancing is not a sport. Brink dancing is not a game. Brink dancing is just keep it back in the freaking 80s, man, as far as I am. I'm a terrible bowler. It's fun, though. Well, how about we do foosball, pinball, and bowling, Mindy's mom? Best 
three competitions. First person to win two. Just saying. I'd probably beat you in foosball, pinball, and bowling. <laughs> uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I got to go. Uh, please smash that like button. We need 10 likes to 50. Can you do it? Can you just do it right now before we go? Okay. Maccas is a sport. Anytime you say Maccas, that's five bucks. God damn you guys. Air hockey, a Sakusa Sega. <laughs> Sounds like a bet. Bye, Drew. Bye, everyone. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I do have to go. Please smash that like button. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Uh, we will not be live tomorrow, but we might. So Ramsey Silent, even though I said I won't be live tomorrow, we still might. Depends on uh, how things are going. Because um, all week, this week, for the next six days, I am working 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. Um, so I do have time in the morning to uh, do the morning coffee show all week. Um, we'll see you tomorrow. Exactly, Mindy's mom. Uh, maybe we won't be doing a morning coffee show. Maybe we will take you into a, a, an area and walk around for a bit, showing you something interesting. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for uh, the 43 likes that I see. Uh, truly appreciate it. Night Riders Gal, thank you for the uh, super chat. I appreciate the support. And Patreon members, uh, the silent auction will end in 12 hours from now. And I will contact the winners. Um, right now, there's nothing on the Marvel cap, the first aid kit thing, or the Pez. I'm surprised the Pez wasn't there. Uh, we do have uh, three or four bids each um, on uh, the, the smartwatch, the mini bag, the fire starter, the travel bag, the hedgehog uh, humidifier thing, and the mini dance thing. Um, so some competition is heating up, ladies and gentlemen. I will be contacting the winners at 10 p.m. tonight or 11 p.m. tonight. And uh, I do thank you very much for your support. Um, yeah, guys, got to go. Keep it real, keep it raw, straight to yourself, because I always do. And I hope you all have a great day. Peace.